the thing about this that is so nefarious and frightening is lack of choice. Um, I, uh, my degree is in geography, by the way, not art. And uh, in geography, we, uh, we study the philosophy of geography. And there's two different categories of people with influence of geography on human beings. One are determinists and the other are possibilists. And determinists uh, say everything is determined. Your whole life is like you're in a little toy train railroad track and it's all laid out before you and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm not of that school of thought. I'm a possibilist. At every single moment, even counting right now, I could just get up and say bye. Uh, I have choices. I believe in choices. Choices, choices, choices. Raising my kids, I always gave them choices. I limited the choices, but I gave them choices. And with this smart meter system, there is no choice. Well, the only choice is to go completely off the grid and get a, a DC system going. And the thought has crossed my mind, I might have to go to the expense of, of doing that. Um, now, I have a choice. Um, I know I go, I go to airports, and I know I'm walking uh, through all kinds of areas of being zapped by invisible EMFs of various frequencies and so on. But I'm not there all the time, every day of my whole life when I'm, uh, I, I, I'm there for a short time and then I'm, I'm out of it. And um, I have a choice to not have fluorescent lights. I have a choice to, to not have a, a cordless phone. I have, I have choices to do these things, to not use the microwave. I have choices to avoid this stuff. If I have to have a smart meter in my, in my home, I have no choice. And I believe that's uh, Orwellian as I say. So the lack of choice is, uh, is what is horrible about it. And of course, it's not worth doing if it isn't universal anyway. So um, let's not go there. <laughs>